was a little bit ridiculous. I'm just feeling like really overwhelmed. Truly jumper season. We should kind of talk about my bookshelf. I did a bit of a rejigging of everything. I just feel like I haven't even properly woke up yet. I can't go anywhere looking like this. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. So, yes, it is now Saturday, the 30th of October, and it's currently about 10 past 6 for me. I feel like it's been a while since I vlogged, but welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. My name is Chloe, and I am a writer and a musician here on YouTube, and I am 20 years old, working a part-time job. I just feel like I haven't vlogged in a really long time. I feel like I'm really out of practice because I just have had so much life stuff go on recently that I can't talk about yet, but it is all very exciting. But as for right now, I have a slight issue. I have got four Home Bargains bags here. Let me show you properly four home bargains bags here because i have started christmas shopping and don't mind like the lenore ascent boosters there yeah really random isn't it but i've got four home bargains bags here it's about six in the evening and in a few hours i am going to be getting into bed but i cannot get into bed with it with my bed like this so i seriously just need to organize these bags like empty everything put everything away probably get into pajamas as well and then a christmas face mask because i wore that whilst shopping today and i think this vlog is going to be mainly all about like christmas because i need to make a christmas list this weekend one you know for other people like to give other people ideas for what to get me and then i kind of need to make a list of things I actually need to get for other people.
though, it is now a lot later. It is actually about 20 past nine. And yes, I am now in pyjamas. It's literally a few hours later and for the past few hours that I have not picked up the camera, I have had dinner and I have sorted all of my home bargains bags out which was a little bit ridiculous i have to admit but i think it was you know quite a successful shop for like starting to buy christmas presents but obviously i'm not done yet because there are going to be bits that i need to get online there are going to be other bits that i'm probably that i'll probably want to get from home bargains but now that i've kind of gotten a few bits i feel like i can now start to build up an idea of what to actually get for people because the bits that i've bought so far you know today are like things like sweets and chocolates and just like snacky bits like that and yeah just everything like food and drink wise actually more so food wise I think I will probably end up getting alcohol for my parents and probably my sister to be fair because she turns 18 this year and in the UK the legal age for drinking is 18. I honestly just don't want to spend a fortune on Christmas this year because I do need to be saving. I kind of have a big life thing going on right now that I can't talk about right now and it is kind of frustrating i just have to be patient you know i just feel so scatterbrained at the moment i honestly cannot remember what i was saying like my memory at the moment is terrible i look a wreck when do i not look a wreck do we care on here no especially not in these vlogs oh and yeah also i do have like some spots here and here i actually need to go back in my bullet journal i just <sighs> feel so scatterbrained hmm. because of this whole like live thing going on right now oh dear god i haven't even journaled today like my routine has just been kind of messed up because of this whole live thing as well so i went shopping did not need to clean the bathroom my dad did that luckily and i did talk to my parents i I think I'm actually going to quickly write a to-do list for tomorrow, but it's basically just going to be really similar to today. Even though I literally write to-do lists, like, evidently, just feeling very disorganised right now. Oh, I still need to write out my November goals as well, but I um, I need to finish my week my weekly spreads for November. It's been a while since I vlogged as well, so I don't really know what i'm doing like i'm out of practice aren't i but yeah christmas this year i'm not spending a lot of money i do need to sort out a christmas list for other people like for me <laughs> because my nan keeps asking me and i just keep forgetting i can do it tomorrow because i don't think i've got anything else really planned tomorrow like this whole life thing at the moment is taking over my life funnily enough so and i think because the whole thing is on my mind at the moment it's really hard to not talk about it and talk about you know things like bullet journaling which i do really need to do and make a to-do list for tomorrow and then i also need to because it's literally november in a day oh my god the clocks go back tonight as well and i'm excited to get an extra hour of sleep because I'm not sleeping very well at the moment. I'm just going to try and get some of the stuff done that I've been meaning to get done all day. But I've just been putting off. Well, I've not been putting it off. I've just been doing like other things. Because I'm just trying to get this life thing sorted out. I do actually need to put a post up on Instagram today. I was meant to do it like two days ago. I never did it. So I will make sure to do that tonight. Really need to do that tonight. I have actually started planning out my instagram content a bit more because i really want to get back into that where's my google calendar and i've just been using my google calendar so oh actually no i don't want this i'll come back to what i want to do like instagram wise so personal i need to plan out next week i 
ideally I also need to look into savings accounts, saving accounts, because I really need to set up a new one in my name because the current savings account that I do have is in my mum's name and I've had it since I was a kid. So I just really need a new savings account that I have full access to because at the moment all I can really do is send money into the savings account but I can't take anything out of it. I might just be better off putting that in my weekly goals. Adulting stuff is getting serious. Kinda has to because I am an adult. I'm 20 years old and I really need to learn how to cook, how to clean, like how to clean a fucking shower because apparently I don't know how to do it. I'm just I'm just sick of people telling me like, yeah you just spray this and then just wipe around. Yeah no, that will not work with me. I have to be shown how to do it. And also the thing with cooking, I work evenings so it's not like I can even assist my mum most evenings. And I actually don't mind working evenings, I actually quite like it. Yeah, this week has been a bit of a flop. So plan out next week, reflect on Oct October because I'll probably do that tomorrow. And I'll probably do my November goals tonight. But I actually need to sort my, uh, my weekly spreads out, especially next week. So that's the main thing, really. There was something else. Plan a video. Tuesday's post picture I need to create because it'll be the 2nd of November and I'm gonna do a post about why I'm not participating in NaNoWriMo this year and I guess it's a good thing that I'm not because of this whole life thing that's come up now and then I guess plan out that video for November as well because well it doesn't go up for a while yet I need to crack on with this now myself. 
off to the page. I don't do it for the praise, love. That's just how I'm made. Truth in the glass in the mirror. <laughs> yeah. Do it at me, old man. Trying to pass in the fear. You're the first one to talk, but the last one to hear. Eyes blurry, but I couldn't see that. And he cleared down. Start to feel like I'm on one. Start to land, I'll be here for the long run. I'm a slave for the cash. Got snakes in the grass. No breaks on the head, but it's all fun. We done seen it all, heard it all. Heard enough, give me space for I murder y'all. Ten bad tear, I'ma curve them all. Twelve missed calls, and I still made a curtain call. Here to light it up, lighten up. Hear him talking, they ain't right enough, tighten up. Everything that I came for, I left with. I don't bang sets, I just bang on the set list. Going past supper when I came for the breakfast. Put me in your prayers, I might put you on the guest list. Young, tell me reckless. Gold in my soul, got the same on my necklace. Good evening everyone, it's now Sunday the 31st of October, yes it is Halloween, tomorrow is literally November and have I reflected on October and planned for November yet? No, no I haven't and it is currently about 6 o'clock. Oh shut the fuck up! I do actually have some things I can tick off on my to-do list because yes it's six o'clock and I've already been on my walk because obviously the clocks changed last night so sunset was about an hour earlier today and that's why I've already been on my walk. I try not to be out too late after sunset so hmm there's a lot of things I have to cross off from yesterday. Oh, actually I did read, I read like a bit and then put my book down and I have done my exercise, I've sorted that out. I actually need to finish my Christmas list, have I already vlogged today? I don't think I have. I need to finish my Christmas list for my nan, basically just do things in my bullet journal and then if I can it would be great if I could get a video script done as well it's basically just my quarter three music discoveries video that i need to plan out because i plan on filming that literally the day i am coming back to youtube so i really need to plan that out and i was thinking this was going to be like my adjusting to adult life fourth vlog i think it is but i think this will actually be my first video back. I don't think, I just feel like I don't have a lot of updates that I, or a lot of like life things that I can share right now. So I was thinking that this was gonna be like a coffee talk, this video, but actually I just feel like I don't have like enough like updates for that kind of thing. So this is gonna be the first vlog back instead of being part of my adjusting to adult life vlog four and that will just be up later in the month i'm just feeling like really overwhelmed at the moment just with everything going on with everything that i need to get done i feel like i can never get anything done in a day and then my tasks just roll over to the next day and i'm just getting incredibly frustrated with it so and so because of that I am feeling kind of scatterbrained because I'm just trying to focus on way too many things because I'm just struggling to prioritise at the moment with everything because this whole life thing going on right now is taking up 
a lot of my time and it's going to take up even more of my time and it's soon gonna make it impossible for me to vlog anything. I am just trying to vlog what I can. Gotta give me some love, nah, nah, nah. Gotta give me some love, nah, nah, nah. You gotta give me some love, nah, nah, nah. Gotta give me some love, nah, nah.
Good morning everyone. So it is now Tuesday the 2nd of November and it's currently about 12 o'clock. Yes, it's midday, but it's actually a lot better than it has been recently. My routine has just been all over the place. This morning I actually woke up and got up at a reasonable time for me, which was like about half eight, I think I got up or something like that. Today, yes, it's Tuesday, I decided not to vlog yesterday just because by the time I woke up and got myself ready, it was like, I think one o'clock or something, and it wasn't great. I didn't get out of bed until about almost 10. I don't think it was pretty bad. I was just so tired and I had to make a call. So by the time I had done all of that, I pretty much just had to get myself to work. So today I have quite a few different bits that I need to do. I need to finish my Christmas list for my nan because she needs just like a few things like within like a certain price range to like buy and give to us for Christmas. Not just my nan by the way, my nan and granddad. And I think I'm also going to do the rebrand for my channel because it is about halfway throughout my hiatus and I will be returning on the 13th of November so I need to get that done and sorted out and then in terms of like the rest of the week I think Thursday night I'm actually going to my boyfriend's and then coming back Friday night so Thursday I'm gonna be packing for that hopefully it's not gonna be as rushed as I was last time when I filmed for that because I just remember feeling so anxious and panicky about it but then the rest of this week so yes I need to on Thursday pack to go to my boyfriend's another thing I actually need to do is sort my bookshelf out because there are actually quite a few books on here that I can now take off because I've read them and I don't think I'm going to read them again. I think there's like three on there, maybe more, that I could probably get rid of. And then another thing I need to do this week is I need to get the jumpers out from under my bed because I finally feel like it is like jumper, truly jumper season because... I'm literally wearing a jacket right now. I think it's like, it is currently 11 degrees outside. So yeah, it's pretty cold. And some of the jumpers that I own don't fit me anymore. So I need to sort all of my jumpers out and just my wardrobe in general for like the autumn winter season. Um, I know I only did something like that recently, but obviously the weather has done a complete 180 since then pretty much. I think I'm gonna try and start with the uh, the Christmas list. Oh, but then the other thing I need to do this week is a toiletries and snacks list for both my mum and my nan. They need those, or toiletries more so, I think. I'm just gonna get started with the day, and it's actually pretty early for me because it's like five past 12, I think, and it's just kind of exciting. It is now about quarter to one and yes I have now finished that Christmas list for my nan and one thing I actually forgot to mention earlier is that I finished reading this book last night. This book Sleepless in Manhattan by Sarah Morgan. I don't really know what to think of it to be completely honest. I enjoyed it I just don't know if I would read it again. I probably wouldn't. A lot of the books that I do read, I don't tend to read again. And I just keep on my bookshelf for the fun of it because I say I'm keeping the books to reread, but I never do. And I actually discovered that this is the first book of a whole like trilogy series. So I'm hopefully gonna be asking for the other two books in the rest of the series for Christmas and on the subject of books I feel like we should kind of talk about my bookshelf 
or first anyway, is now that I've read this, what book am I going to be reading next? I'm going to show you. And so the next book I'm going to be reading is this bad boy here, which is If the Broom Fits by Sarah Sutton. And I'm actually really excited to actually dive into this because I still have not read any of her books and this will be the first that I dive into. So yeah, I am excited about this. I'm just so excited to finally get a chance to read her books because I think she now has like six books out and I'm not even read the one. I feel like I probably should have read this in, whoops, in October because obviously it's, you know, a Halloween romance, but it's fine. It's November. I've still got time to read this. I just don't want to be reading this into December. I reckon I'll probably finish this by the end of November anyway. Oh, and it feels so nice as well. I think the next thing I'll probably do is sort out this god awful bookshelf. And yes, this book will be going back on my bookshelf because I tend to just put them back on my bookshelf for a little bit after I've read them just to like let the story sit, if you know what I mean. Probably you don't, you probably don't, but like I don't want to just get rid of a book straight away. In order to actually get it onto my bookshelf, I need to get rid of a few books first. And I'm actually going to talk through this kind of because I feel like it wouldn't make much sense if I didn't talk about it. It just doesn't help that my bed is an absolute shit tip at the moment. So, this is a close up of my bookshelf. And all of these books up to this point, so I've read this book, are all of the books that I've read. That was clever. So these three books here, I am actually going to get rid of. I'm just going to pull them out. And then I'm actually going to get rid of these two books because... I just don't really see much point in keeping them for much longer. And then obviously I'm going to keep my author tuber books because uh, I just don't want to get rid of those. I'm half tempted to get rid of these two books but I think I'll leave them there for the time being. Yeah, the sun has really bleached the top of this one. I've, just, But I just, I love Annabelle's books. And then these are all of the books I have not read yet, including the ones on top. Once I've gotten rid of these books the top ones should be able to go under the shelf properly and then i can also get my sleepless in manhattan book up here as well oh look at me getting my shit sorted out and these are all of the books i'm taking off my shelf i now need to take these through to the office because i know my parents are gonna hate me for this by taking them into the office because it's like a, a space for everyone i don't use it but it's the only place that I feel reasonable to put my books. I did not think this through, did I? So I've got to carry books and my effing camera. And yes, these books are literally going to go on the same pile. I'm, I know my family are just going to hate me. And I'm sorry, I need to get rid of them somehow. This is what happens when you read a lot or get faster at reading, should I say. What's up? <coughs> hmm? Oh. Look! What is it? Look! Are you hungry? Are you hungry? I'm hungry too. But I guess I have to do first. <laughs> Stop wandering away from the camera, look. Is someone hungry? Oh, I can't that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Up to this point, it's actually been nice and sunny, and now there's a big grey cloud hovering over us. However, those trees over there that I just showed aren't very like representative of all of the trees right now. For example, I've got this tree, which is pretty much bare. Also this tree. And then if I go to the front of the house, these trees here just make me so happy. The leaves on the ground. 
Oh, makes me so happy. Now I'm actually going to sit down and try and get some rebranding done. You can probably already tell. I've already started. Um, yes, I have decided what I'm going for <laughs> for this winter. And it is like a navy blue sort of colour. So at the moment I just have my hiatus banner. And then if I go over to here, you can see that I have my normal banner created as well and then this which was the previous hiatus banner from the previous colour that I had and so there are parts of the rebranding that I have already done I have done the YouTube banner all oh, the logo I have already done so the watermark that you usually see in the corner of my videos that's also already done my end screen is done if i just show that quickly because i did a bit of a rejigging of everything so it looks a little bit different now the coming up screen is a bit different because i don't actually do that in canva because i can't because i just have the free version so i can't remove the background and the coming up screen does require removing the background so i have to do that in I pick it instead. The opening screen, I think I've got the background colour somewhere, but let's just check. The thumbnail template I've already done and I've kind of tried to work it into like a thumbnail that already exists just with this current colour, with this new colour I mean. So thumbnail template is done so the main things i need to focus on i actually need to put the new watermark and i need to put the new watermark under here i don't actually know how to work this new windows 11 setup and watermark done i'm gonna duplicate this and then i'm just gonna delete everything or oh, actually i need to download both of these anyway but i'm gonna do that separately oh and the next part of this i guess is kind of interesting so with the the intro screen i actually go into lightworks to do this my old editing software because it's the software that i can do like the typewriter with and i i like that aspect of my intro and now all we need to do is i'm not sure what's going on here there we go and then i need to find this audio track because i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep that i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep the same sound or change it so i'm not the biggest fan of this this sound now so i am gonna change that and then what was the other thing i needed to do the opening screen it is now about 10 to 4 and so i have now had lunch and i've done the uh washing up because that was today's sure but there's a reason why i've still got you set up like this and that is because i am going to show how i like to do my coming up screen because like i said it's a lot different so first of all i'm going to go to create a design go to new and i'm then going to so pretty much it's just video dimension isn't it i am going to type in here 1920 and then 1080 and they are the dimensions for hd quality videos and i'm going to go for a transparent canvas and create i'm just going to get um, a square shape and kind of just pretty much just fill it pretty much to the whole thing leaving a border around it the color i need to use is zero one zero eight three four because it's basically this color here which is my new which is my new color and i now have my color you'll see what i'm up to in just a minute and actually i don't want this this color i'm gonna make it just a black i think in a minute this won't matter don't need any text just yet so i'm going to delete and now i'm going to start adding in the actual coming up border i'm going to just change this to like a red just to kind of as a guide and then i'm going to 
duplicate that and bring the next shape down to the bottom. I'm probably gonna want these a bit thick, uh, thinner maybe. This is actually the part that I hate doing because it takes so long and it's also very, what's the word, tedious and meticulous. I think it's the word I'm looking for. It's just so difficult to get this part right. And my arm is already hurting from doing this. I think that's gonna have to be good enough. And then I'm gonna duplicate that. I'm just gonna take a break a moment. <laughs> it's so tedious. Oh my God, it's literally perfect. And then we just get rid of the red and I'm gonna add in the text that I want. And I have now just added in some text down on the left hand side here. I just feel like that will look so much better for all of my videos so because then you can just get a wider view of it instead of it being in the top here in the top center or bottom center just think that will look so much better and actually I think last winter it was pretty much the same and then for my rebrand at the start of the year it, I changed it to the top I just feel like it looks so much better and I'm really happy with all of this and I think that may be it I'm just going to consult my bullet journal and that is how I rebrand my channel it probably doesn't seem like much of an effort but I just find it so hard to like sit down and actually get it done today has actually been a pretty good day Though my bullet journal is not representative of that. My bullet journal does not represent that though. Because I was meant to start on these Christmas list thingies. But I think I'll probably end up doing that tomorrow instead. Because my mum wants it for Thursday evening. And so I just need to add in like the re whole rebranding stuff into here to tick them off. Good afternoon everyone, so it is now Wednesday the 3rd of November. It is about 25 past 3 in the afternoon now, so I literally have less than an hour until I need to get into my work uniform. I have basically just spent today kind of just relaxing. I like my Wednesdays to be slow, I don't like to do too much like work on Wednesdays because it's a shower day and so I don't really want to do anything else really but there are usually like a couple of bits that I can get done which I do plan on getting done today while I still got some time but in general I try not to do too much on Wednesdays and it's freezing cold out well, it's not that cold, but I do have my window like cracked open. It is literally nine degrees. I'm still only in like, just a jacket. It's definitely getting towards the jumper weather. But the main thing I need to kind of focus on today is a toiletries list for Christmas. I do really need to get my jumpers out from under my bed, but it just seems like such a big thing to do because I've got to move all of those Christmas bags out of the way, those gift bags, and then a load of other stuff because I've got to get basically to the back under my bed. everyone so it is now thursday the 4th of november and yes i look rough 
but it is only like 25 past 8 in the morning because yesterday was another just emotional day and so I was really tired and I genuinely don't even know what time I fell asleep last night my phone says like half 12 maybe that's right I don't know I just feel like I haven't even properly woke up yet and so because I don't remember when on earth I fell asleep my alarm went off at half seven because I didn't change it to eight o'clock and I don't even remember putting any sounds on like ambient sounds while I went to sleep I think I just <clears throat> went to sleep straight after me and my boyfriend came off court last night I think I'm actually gonna go and do the washing up or go and see how much needs washing up because I just want to get it done and out of the way I got kind of a busy day today and I just got lots to do so I just want to get on with it you know I want to get on with stuff and wake myself up and yes I'm literally in my big red jumper because it is like I want to say two degrees or something outside or at least that's what it feels like and it was actually two degrees yesterday when I woke up so it's pretty cold it's actually five degrees but yes still cold There isn't actually as much washing up as I thought there was because there was a lot on the sides last night and my parents were going to leave it all to me but actually they've done some of it. There are just a few bits like the stoneware and some trays that just need washing up but it's not that much and I was expecting like a fuck ton to do but then I'm also not great at stacking the draining board so it's probably a good idea that I'm not doing the majority of it but since I don't need to do the washing up I think I'm just gonna get myself ready for the day and get dressed and everything I think I'm just gonna get myself ready for the day because I can't go anywhere looking like this <laughs> can I it is now about quarter past 10 and i am now ready for the day i also now have my breakfast i feel like people are gonna think that this looks kind of odd uh but it's basically just porridge golden syrup and banana and i've just got my coffee as well and i'm gonna watch some youtube it is now about 20 to 12 i am still waiting on that phone call i'm really hoping they're gonna call me soon because i just don't want it to run too late into the day i thought while i'm waiting i can actually start to pack my bag for my boyfriend and so i don't want my bag to be too heavy but i do really need like the essentials like clean underwear clothes i'm gonna need like my hairbrush which i can actually pack because it's not like i need to brush my hair again today and yes we're back with the pink and black color block or color blocked hoodie jumper whatever you want to call it because it is freezing outside so this is the bag i will be taking so I need some clothes, I need to get some clothes out. Oh, I'm also gonna need my trainers, but I'll have to put them in like a small bin bag, but that's absolutely fine. I will do that in a minute, because I'll probably want them to go at the bottom of my bag. And I'm actually just gonna take my second pair of leggings, because I can't see 
myself wanting to wear anything else. You know, I actually hate it when people say they're gonna call at a certain time and they never do. I was given literally a two hour window. I mean, it's better than like the doctors, for example, because they just say, I'll call you, oh, we'll call you in the morning. And then they try to call you in the morning and just leave a voicemail because apparently the call didn't go through. Anyway, I'm still salty about that doctor's appointment. Uh -huh, the doctor's appointment that I missed, by the way, which technically wasn't my fault for being on the phone to my boyfriend carrying on and then oh i actually need to get a wash bag sorted i say a wash bag it's just a toiletries bag and i'm literally just gonna use my boyfriend's that he left here for whatever reason i don't know i have a lot of anxiety regarding phone calls clearly shoes these are just my trainers and a small bin bag and clothes so i need to get a top actually and I think I'm literally just going to take my uh, khaki green top. We're not going to be doing that much over the week, over the weekend. I'm literally there for one day. Then I think I might just take my boyfriend's 21 Pilots jumper because, yeah. Oh, I also need to take pajamas. That might be an idea. And then I am also going to need like my phone charger and my watch charger. Oh, my boyfriend said for me to take my switch as well. And then I'm going to need my micellar water for take my makeup off when I get to my boyfriend's tonight so it's now about 20 past 12 and I would say still no phone call but I did get a phone call at 12 from I have no clue who but it was like someone just telling me that the person that's supposed to be ringing me is running late running behind with phone calls so now i'm left waiting and if you know me you know i bloody hate waiting and i just find it so incredibly frustrating that i have literally been waiting for two hours now and i've literally had a phone call that lasted about not even two minutes telling me that the person is running late i'm sorry but oh, i don't want to get emotional it's just so frustrating but anyway <laughs> I, I am just packing my bag and I think I might almost be done. Oh, I know what I'll need, which I can't actually pack right now. Sertraline. Oh, that's the other thing. I'm going to need my sertraline, but I will need to take it today. Another thing is my B complex tablets. I'm going to need these. Also need a phone charger, my watch charger I need to put in. I think my wash bag is now pretty much ready to go in. I just keep getting the feeling that I'm missing something. I'm not packing my toothbrush just yet. Oh, I need to put my switch in actually. That's another good point. I'll probably put that in the back. But yes, my toothbrush is actually currently on charge, so I'm not packing that yet. But I reckon it probably would go in here. Yeah, I'll just put my glasses case in my actual bag along with my sunglasses you just you never know what the weather's gonna be like here in britain england whatever i just feel like i've got so much to do and i can't even remember half the stuff that i need to get done and yesterday is supposed to be the last day of this vlog i don't even know what this vlog is i think it's like an update type thing channel changes oh by the way my upload schedule is pretty much staying the same if you wanted an update on that front because i just i like what i've got going on right now oh my god oh my god oh my god they're calling oh my god it is now about 10 to 4 and so in the past couple of hours i have had lunch and i've just been sat editing this very video not like editing editing but like just actually doing the time lapses just like i do have a couple bits left to do i actually keep forgetting that i need to add to the shopping list I also just kind of need to finish off my toiletries list and print that off my toiletries like Christmas list and then I just have um, a few bits left to pack in my bag to go to my boyfriend's although I do feel like I'm forgetting something like major something quite crucial oh my god I need to make sure to pack my hairbrush but I 
think we are now at the end of this vlog i feel like kind of just a lot has happened you know you've seen me actually create some of the things for like the new brand of my channel like the new branding color i don't know if that was or if that was more of an insightful thing <laughs> at the beginning i was doing a lot of planning and everything but i don't think i've had like a lot of life updates in this vlog mainly because the big life update at the moment i can't and don't want to talk about yet because it is quite big but today has actually been a pretty good day i woke up early the sun has been out pretty much all day there was like a little spurt oh there was like a little spurt of rain but it really wasn't much i hope this vlog was somewhat entertaining i mean i really haven't done a lot i am gonna end it here if you somewhat enjoyed this vlog make sure to give it a big thumbs up also make sure to subscribe down below and ding the bell to be notified for every single time i upload thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next in my next video bye gotta give me some love because when i'm with you i'm in paradise you know how to make me feel alive gotta give me some love nah nah gotta give me some love nah nah nah